Howdy folks. This week's video is going to be an update to last week's video where I made the giant clear ice diamond. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, uh, and we got some updates. I got some action on Reddit about it and there were some uh, some discussions. First thing I want to tell you is that this Moldstar 15 I used apparently is not food safe and while I'm not particularly worried about a couple of ice cubes poisoning me. I don't think that's what will happen. I uh, am going to switch to a different product for the next time I do it, a f explicitly food safe mold product. Um, there's one called Sorta Clear. I don't know where they get these names. Anyway, that's update one. I realized that I do have some glasses where these diamonds might actually fit. I had forgotten about them. These are glasses I don't use much because they're so large. Um, I don't usually want like a giant glass with a little tiny drink in the bottom. It looks it looks bad. You gotta, you gotta think about your fill lines. So I have three different glasses that might work and I'm gonna show them to you in increasing order of absurdity. Now you comment down below if you think I've got the order right. Which of these three do you think is the most absurd? First up is this thing. Now, I just bought this at the local Fred Meyer, just like a, like a grocery store. They've got housewares and stuff. Um, it's a little big for regular glasses. I don't really like the shape. It's kind of goofy. Um, but as you can see, it's sort of diamond shaped, upside down diamond shaped. So we're gonna try and uh, get the ice in there. Um, I think we'll make an old fashioned this is not going to fit a lot of liquid besides the ice, so I'm going to make a small drink. Uh, I'll make an old-fashioned. I think I'll do a rye old-fashioned. I really like those. I've got this Elijah Craig rye that is okay. It's pretty good. Um, but I think it might make a nice old-fashioned. Uh, when it comes to rye old-fashions, or even high rye bourbon uh, in an old-fashioned, I like to use, first of all, a dash of Peixos bitters, as well as Angostura. I think that goes really well. And a lemon peel instead of an orange. Those are my slight variations. Kind of reminds you of a Sazerac that way, which is, you know, Peixos and lemon. That goes well with rye. So let's try that. We got our ice diamond for, for this old fashioned. Uh, it is a little cloudy on the bottom. This one didn't come out quite as nice as some of them, but, uh, Check this out. It basically fits right in there. It uh, it is touching the sides just barely. We'll just we'll just see how it goes. I'm a little nervous about this. We're gonna pour it in carefully. Don't want it to overflow, and I'm not sure how much of this drink will actually fit in the glass. Oh, almost all of it. Wow. Get the lemon peel on there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, a little bit of cloudiness is a bit of a bummer. But I'm afraid to spill it. Delicious. Okay, glass two is another absurd glass. We got these years ago as wedding presents. And they are these sort of martini glasses. They are also huge. Um, this thing holds 10 ounces, which is way more drink than, way bigger of a martini than I'm ever gonna, we, we have four of them. They're crystal, they're pretty sweet, but totally impractical. And I'd forgotten about them because we have them up in a shelf somewhere um, for the last 15 years. I hadn't really thought about it, but just for perspective, check this out. This is a normal glass. 
a normal sort of coop you might use. Here's this thing. Okay. I think the ice cube will fit entirely in here, and and we'll see. We'll see what what happens. For this, I think uh, for this, I think I'll make a Negroni, but I did just get some new Akavit. I got this uh, OP Anderson Swedish Akavit. Never uh, tried it much, but uh, I am gonna give it a sh give it a shot in a. I was about to call it a Norwegian Negroni, but I guess a Swedish Negroni, and we'll put it in our ridiculous. Uh, absurd glass. Check this out. I mean, the giant ice fits in this giant glass in the bottom. So I think we'll have more room in this one than the last one for our Akavit Negroni. <laughs> slow so we don't overflow. Kind of hoping this ice will float. Yeah, it's gonna float. Look at that. Oh well, yeah, look at that. Let's get an orange peel on there. This might be the least absurd of all. Turns out this actually kind of fits. It looks amazing, although it is huge. I mean, it's not a huge drink, but the glass and everything is huge. Now, for glass three, I got sort of more of a normal uh, coupe. Got this at the thrift store, um, but it's a little bigger than some. You know, it's there was a fad a little while ago, or, or yeah, I guess a fad. People who started putting uh, big clear ice into coops with like a you know to be a classy little coop, but with a big square ice sticking out. That never really appealed to me as a as a style. But we're gonna try it with our giant uh, our giant diamond and push the absurdity to the limit. I think you know what I'll do? I'll, I think I'll make an El Presidente for this. I haven't had an El Presidente in a while. Uh, we've got a Aquavit drink, we got a whiskey drink, and now we'll have a rum drink. All right, let's go. ice absolutely hits you in the face when you try to drink from it. This may be the most absurd of all. Cheers. Delicious El Presidente though. Mm. So in conclusion, this giant ice diamond is absurd and impractical. And of all the glasses I found that I had at the house, only this giant martini glass even came close, and only because the ice actually fit in there. I'm not gonna make those diamonds anymore. Um, I'm gonna try and find a food safe mold making material and something smaller and cooler to make the mold out of. If you wanna stay informed of my progress, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon to uh, stay informed. Uh, if you have already subscribed, then thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's it. We'll see you next time. Bye.